Okay, you guys picked the sweet pancake, but unfortunately, you end up ODing on sugar and your adventure's over, so you have to go back to the beginning. Actually, no, I'm just kidding. We're gonna actually make this pancake today and everything's gonna be okay. So what we're gonna do is we have our batter that we pre-made before, and we're just gonna basically chop up some pumpkin pie, use some of this whipped cream and some spices to make a really, really nice, light, beautiful pancake. So all we're gonna do for the pumpkin pie pancake is just incorporate some extra flavors into the batter that we already made. So I'm gonna use a bit of my leftover pumpkin pie here. Not the whole thing, that would be crazy. So we'll do about a quarter of the pie. Put that back for later. I'm just gonna chop it up into about quarter inch slices. And the great thing about leaving big chunks like this in the batter is that when you cook them up, when you serve them to your friends, they're gonna get big bursts of pumpkin pie flavor. It's gonna be really intense and really awesome. So I'm gonna add those right into there. So the pumpkin pie's in the batter. We're gonna add a little bit of vanilla, just half a teaspoon. And a pinch of cinnamon and a pinch of cloves. We just kind of want to enhance those pumpkin pie flavors that we're already putting in. And a little bit of our leftover whipped cream. Just add that right in there. And we're just gonna add some dried cranberries in there too, just for a bit of texture. And just gonna gently stir it until everything's incorporated. And once everything's nicely combined, we're just gonna cook up the pancakes. Okay, so I got my pan nice and hot. I threw a little bit of coconut oil in there because it seems to be all the rage lately. People just seem to love this stuff, but it's great. It has a great smoke point and it's just nice for frying up pancakes like this. So I'm gonna take my batter, and depending on how big of a pan you're using, depends on what you wanna fit or how big you want your pancakes, obviously. I'm just gonna do about four even spoonfuls of the batter. Two, three, Okay, let's a little baby one. Okay, and now we're gonna let these guys cook until you see bubbles forming around the edges. That's when you know they're ready to flip. Oh yeah, some money right there. If you have your pan preheated on a nice medium high heat, a bit of oil in there, everything's hot and ready to go, you should just need about two minutes for the pancakes. So they're pretty much done now. I'm just gonna pop them onto the plate and I'm gonna bring them back over to the counter for a couple finishing touches. These are gonna be awesome. Last but not least, we do have some leftover cranberry sauce still. Homemade, remember? Perfect. Put it into a little bowl here. It's probably about a quarter of a cup. And we're just gonna blend it up with some maple syrup because what's a pancake without maple syrup, right? And this is just a nice little twist to use up the leftover cranberry sauce you have in your fridge. Give that a little stir. And you can plate these guys however you want. I think I might just stack them up and put a little bit of whipped cream and cranberry sauce on each layer so we get like a nice, height effect going on here. Let's just do one pancake. A little bit of the cranberry maple sauce on there. And you see the pancake can just soak it right up. That's exactly what we want. A little bit of whipped cream. Who doesn't like whipped cream? Next pancake, same sort of thing. It's just like building a lasagna. A sweet, delicious pumpkin pie lasagna. Another layer. Finishing touch, just a little bit more whipped cream. A sprinkle of cinnamon. And there we go, pumpkin pie pancakes. How wicked do those look? If you wanna see how to make the turkey and stuffing pancakes too with the fried egg and bacon gravy on top, head to this link right here.